This is Jeff Challen again. Today I'm going to look at how to correctly use version control to attract changes that you make to your projects. So I've set up a small Hello World example here, and I have already added the repository to Subversion, uh, or I've added the product to my Subversion repository, and I've just committed some changes that I made. Um, now, what I want to avoid here is the following. So let's say the deadline for my assignment or MP is approaching. Um, how do I make sure that the changes that I've made to the project are in the repository so the core staff can find them when we go to grade things? So here's what we've done in the past. We've told you to open up the SVN repository, exploring perspective, and then I can use this to go into my Hello Project and I can go into the source folder and I can open hello.java and I can kind of look at these two files side by side. Here's the version of hello.java that's on the server and here's the version I have locally and these files are the same, okay? Um, but in general, this is a terrible idea um, and it's equally bad and I know that you can do this. Let me see if I can get this to work. Um, you know, people have also said, well, I can take this URL and I can open it in my web browser. Um, need to get my Illinois credentials here. Um, oh, choose really strong master passwords clearly that you can't type while doing a screencast. All right, so that's my Illinois password. Okay, so here's my subordinate repository, and I can do this here too, okay? But again, if someone has told you to do it this way, um, I disagree with that person, um, because this is just not a good way to check to make sure that your things are up to date. Um, what if your project has thousands of files in it, or even 10 files? Um, you might miss small changes that are gonna cause big problems when we actually try to go to run your project. Um, the other problem is this is just not the right way to do this. Um, the reason that we use version control systems is they are extremely good at answering these types of questions. So let's go back to the Java perspective. That's the other nice thing about doing it in the way I'm about to show you is that I don't have to go over to the subversion perspective. I can stay in my Java perspective. I right click on the project. I go to the team menu. And what I want to do here, actually, sorry, I want to do compare with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say compare with the latest from my repository. So my question here is what's the differences between the version of the code in my repository and the version that I have locally? Okay, and I run this and it's going to think for a minute. Um, and it's going to say there are no differences between the selected inputs. So that's great. This is the right way to check to make sure that the version of the code in your subversion repository is the same as what you have locally. Now, let's imagine that we made some changes. So, hello Tuesday, okay? So now I've got a version locally that's different than the one that I have remotely. Um, so now let's go over here and hit compare with latest from repository. Again, it's gonna think for a minute. And now, what it's gonna do is it's gonna show me that there are differences. And the nice thing about Subversion is it will actually show me exactly where the differences are. So if I had a bunch of files in my source repository, in my source directory, and a bunch of those files hadn't changed, I'm only going to see the changes in Hello Java. So if I double click on this, and I don't know why this is so slow, um, but it shows me exactly what the changes are. So here's my local copy right here. Um, this says, Hello Tuesday. And then here is the version in my Subversion repository, which is revision 2627. That one says, hello world. So this is, again, the correct way to check to make sure um, that your repository is up to date. It's also a really useful way to see the changes between your code and, and somebody else's code. Um, so for example, I can also do this um, if I wanna see changes between different versions of the repository. Um, so let's see what happens. Can I do this? Yeah, I can. Great. Um, so what I've asked it to do is I said, hey, uh, do, a, do a compare with the initial, um, the initial state of the repository. And what I can see here is that that comparison has um, a class path for the project um, and it has 
the, uh, the project file and all these files that Eclipse automatically creates. So essentially what this is saying is the first time I committed the project, there were only three files in it. Their initial state of the repository was empty for this project. And here's the files that I added. Um, okay, so now let's see what happens if I uh, commit. So the, the other thing that will happen here, and this is a little bit weird. Um, I don't love how the Subversion plugin does this. So let's go to team and let's commit our changes. Um, greetings to Tuesday, hit OK. You can see down here that it's going to work on that for a minute. OK, now if let's walk through this again. So go compare with latest from repository. Um, now the history um, shows me that there are no differences and the latest commit was at 3.13. So no, no differences between these selected inputs. Um, now, what happens if I try to commit again? So again, let's say it's five minutes before the deadline and I just wanna make sure that the changes I have are on the uh, remote, are on my remote repository. So if I go team commit, remember I just committed my changes and I haven't changed anything. So this is what's weird. Um, it allows me to fill in a comment, but it will not allow me to complete the commit because there are no files that have changed. So you'll see OK is grayed out, and no matter uh, what I fill in um, for the commit message, it's not actually going to allow me to, to commit these changes because there are no changes. So um, this is another way to do it. So again, if it's five minutes before the deadline and you commit and you see that there are no resources to add to the project, that means that everything on the repository is up to date and you're in good shape. Um, so, you know, it's, it's important to avoid um, anti-patterns and sort of uh, bad ways of doing things when you get started using new systems like version control. So please don't browse your repository on the website. Um, don't open up the Subversion repository view and poke around. Use the version control features that come with the Subversion plugin to look at the changes and learn how to do that properly.